the Joe Rogan experience. Um, that girl, that amazing gymnast who everybody's shitting on. Simone Biles. Yeah, because she just bailed on the Olympics. She's yeah. like, I can't take it anymore. I was just reading that she regularly takes um, uh, ADHD medication. And they said that she can no longer take it because in Japan, you can't take this stuff. She takes Ritalin. Find out if this is true. Because if that is the case, they said that during the last Olympics, uh, I guess 2016, she took this stuff and she won a bunch of gold medals. Yeah. And now, because she's regularly on this. Right. This is her medication. And so they're saying she can't because... Japan. Japan. Japan, is it's illegal to take... Uh, whether it's Adderall or Ritalin. I think it's illegal to take those in Japan. This so is what I was reading weird. today. How cultures have their different... Yeah. I mean, you could like buy panties in a vending machine, but you can't take Ritalin? Well, I think <laughs> they're very sensitive to amphetamines because amphetamines and methamphetamines were the reason why the kamikazes were willing to fucking fly their right. planes right. right into boats. Like, right. nah, 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 <laughs> fucking gritting their teeth the whole way. Yeah. Boom. That's why Lexus probably does so well, because if like you mess up at the factory, you have to like walk off a plank because of honor. They're in the honor. Really? Well, I'm just I don't know if that's true, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> they don't fuck. I've had would, three Lexuses in my life. They never break. They're so good. They're so good. They're a, the, it, the best yeah. cars. So this is from the okay. last Olympics. Okay, Olympics Simone Biles so. addresses leaked medical records and ADHD misconceptions. U.S. gymnast superstar Simone Biles was in a different kind of spotlight Tuesday after Russian hackers circulated confidential medical reports in the World Anti-Doping Agency database that showed her use of methylphenidate, methylphenidate, a stimulant used to treat ADHD. Biles, 19, was forced to publicly address her ADHD and her approval of the use of medication after a leak. I have ADHD and I've taken medicine for it since I was a kid. Please know I believe in a clean sport. I've always followed the rules. will continue to do so as far as play is critical to, uh, as fair play is critical to sport and is very important to me. So she's been on this medication for a long time, but see if you can find that uh, an article that says she was not allowed to take this ADHD medication in Japan. Because that's what they were saying. They were saying that during this Olympics, they told her she has to get off of it. If that's the case, that would greatly contribute to her anxiety and her mental problems that she's having. Imagine if you're on a medication for last at least five years, right? She's been on it since uh, 2016. And then all of a sudden they tell you you can't be on it anymore and you have to compete in the Olympics. Yeah. And you're used to being on this medication. Yeah, no, the that, fuck? that'll that'll cause you some strife. But this could be fishy. Like, they're saying they treat it for ADHD, but what if this is like a drug that makes them, like, super focused? What well, does make you super it's focused. Super focused. I'm sure it does. So I mean, that's, that's, yeah. that's why they say pitchers can't take it. Right. Like, pitchers want to take Adderall. Right. Yeah. And they the pitchers used to take uh, greenies, which were right. basically like right. some sort of... Amphetamines. Amphetamines. Yeah. So this could be a similar kind of scandal where the Russian hackers... Freaking Russians, uh, you know, the Russians and the Chinese are just like, they're beating us on the online, dude. They're like, they're like Yago and Othello. And they're just kind of <laughs> manipulating us and hacking our shit. But I think about it, it's like um, Yanis and uh, what's his name from S Slovenia is like the best. Ba the, uh, everything is like the rest of the world has is beating us in everything. Like, look now, like our gymnasts are retiring because they're sad. I don't see this is what everybody's saying about that girl. I think a thing about that girl is her ADHD medication. So, the deepest <clears throat> I could find was people discussing that in that so then I outside looked up Ritalin in Japan. Turns up that currently the only drug used to aid, to treat ADHD that is legal in Japan is called Concerta, while Ritalin is available in Japan is to treat sleep disorders. It's not prescribed for ADHD. Imagine they're giving you speed for sleep disorders. Yeah. What? <laughs> But it's not illegal, though, right? Ritalin. It says it's yeah. then going into. It says it's. It, you maybe could get it. It's very hard to get, and then it, she could be not on it because it was hard for her to get a, a TUE because Japan rules Trump, Olympic rules or something. I think I that's what's going on. If you go to, I believe it was uh, Chris Bell's yeah, Instagram page. Oh, I saw him tweet it, but I think you go to Big Strong Fast. He he on Instagram. I think Chris Bell covered it, and he's discussing what exactly is happening with that girl. So that's something that people needed to take it. So many people are shitting on her online and calling her a coward. It's disgusting. Like, 
you have no idea what's going on in her head. Are you right. supposed? She's supposed to play when she's suicidal. And is she supposed to play when she's freaking out? Is she supposed to do gymnastics when she's literally losing her mind? Like you, when people get off prescription drugs, like Jordan Peterson was fucked up for a whole year when he was trying to get off um, benzodiazepine. I, mean, I don't know what it's like to get off Ritalin, right. but I would imagine it's not fun. Right. Right. Yeah, it's withdrawal. Yeah. And who look, knows? The stuff that that girl has done. I mean, she's the goat by a lot. I mean, she does stuff that's like superhuman. Here it goes. Simone Biles ADHD meds among common drugs banned from Olympics. So Simone Biles has revealed that she has ADHD and takes Ritalin for it. Uh, correction, it was first told Adderall in the articles, looked it up. It's Ritalin. Very similar. He says, sorry. Uh, she received a ther therapeutic use exemption for it in 2016 and took home four gold medals in Rio. Fast forward to Tokyo 2020 and Ritalin and Adderall is 100% illegal in Japan under all circumstances, including therapeutic use. It is unf unfortunate because I'm sure we'd love to see her compete, but it makes sense that she couldn't focus. That does make sense. See, now, why are we not hearing this? Why am I getting this only from Chris Bell, who, by the way, made an incredible documentary, Bigger, Stronger, Faster, uh, which is uh, a documentary on steroids, and then uh, another documentary, Prescription Thugs, which is about prescription medication. Great, He does great shit. So I guess at this point, it's either that's true or what Jamie pulled up before is true. Like, we're not sure, because Jamie's saying the article he wrote is that it's not illegal. It's I bet it, it might be illegal for competition. Right. It might be illegal as a therapeutic use exemption. You might not be able to get one of those. In right. Whatever Chris is saying. But it's uh, it's a complicated story. It's not, I mean, this girl's, she won four gold medals in Rio. What do you, she's it's not a like she's a, She's not a chicken. She's like, the best of all time by, right. by all people's accounts. Aren't they yeah. changing rules because she can do yes. shit that other people can't do? Yeah. She's they, insane. Right? Yeah. She like flies through the air. It's incredible. Yeah, there was a video that was uh, describing how they're literally like altering the rules to make what she does less impressive, right? Or less uh, scores, less whatever. I don't right. I don't follow gymnastics. I don't yeah, know yeah. Them. I mean, most people don't until the Olympics. I mean, that, right. That's the thing about Olympic sports. Like these people, are, that must be a weird come down. Like you know, mm -hmm. the whole world's watching, and then you got to go back to working at uh, Panera Bread. That's weird. Yeah. You're just a swimmer or like a shot put guy. Uh huh. You win a gold and then you're just back to handing out buzzers. How much money do you make for a shot put? I don't think they make anything from right. the Olympics. You win the Olympics and then then what? You then, just teach shot put to yeah. people that also can't make money? Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips easily seamlessly switch between video and audio experience on spotify you can listen to the jre in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free spotify is absolutely free you don't have to have a premium account to watch new jre episodes you just need to search for the jre on your spotify app go to spotify now to get this full episode of the joe rogan experience